In this practical, we're going to look at a simple diagnostic test for infectious mononucleosis. The test is fairly simple in that it uses latex beads coated with an antigen, and these beads will agglutinate in the presence of the antibodies to the virus. Take a clean microscope slide and label it so you know which spot is which. Pipette on 20 microliters of the resuspended latex solution. And then next to it, pipette either 5 microliters of the control sample, in this case phosphate buffered saline, or 5 microliters of the antibody solution. Next, using a clean pipette tip, mix the latex beads with the sample. Make sure everything's thoroughly mixed, change tips, and then mix the next sample with the beads. Try not to spread the drop out too much. Again, make sure the sample is thoroughly mixed. Once you've mixed the samples, you now need to rotate the slide for about three minutes. As you rotate the slide, you may start to notice a change in the two spots. If you look carefully, you will see that the one on the left, C, the control spot, is remaining relatively milky, whilst the spot on the right, which is a 1 in 8 dilution of the antibody in this case, is beginning to go a little sort of clumpy. You can see a dark mark appearing in the center of the spot. Keep mixing for the full three minutes and then stop and examine the slide. If there hasn't been any agglutination, the latex beads should not have agglutinated and it should look like the sample on the left here. That is, it should still be milky. If, on the other hand, agglutination has occurred, it should look like the sample on the right. Here we can clearly see that there's a granular effect and that there has indeed been some clumping of the latex beads. If you examine the samples closely, you will see a striking difference if agglutination has occurred. The sample in this photograph on the left is the control, that is, just PBS was used. The sample on the right had the latex beads and also the antibody and you can clearly see a clumping of the beads as the antibody has cross-linked them.